Got a new chainsaw. Gonna open it up right now. This is a company that said they're gonna send me two chainsaws, one to compare, but I only got this one. This is the company. It's called Wild Badger Power. So we're gonna open it up, get it charged, and check it out, and then do a video cutting the tree. It's blue, look at that. Kinda pretty. It's a lightweight one, but it'll be a nice one to use for doing uh, stuff when I go like on hunting trips or something. It's a 40 volt, that's all I know. Look at that, it's got a little baby wrench, scrunch. Here's the charger. We're gonna plug it in right now into one of my battery packs. And uh, so yeah, it might even have some juice on it. Let's give it a try and see. Maybe it's already charged. No, nope, no juice. I'll have to put it on the charger. So let's do that. So look at that, it's pretty. I don't know how to describe it other than it's got like about a 14 inch bar maybe. 16, it says 16 on here, so maybe that's what it is. Here's the charger, so we're gonna plug it in and let it charge up, and then we'll shoot a video of it doing some cutting, so. It's nice and light, so. Battery can't weigh more than two or three pounds. So here we go, we'll charge her up. Okay, so I got the, the ELB unit out, the 1000 water, and it is a, uh, I don't know, I don't think this thing weighs more than 15 pounds. I plugged it in, it's charging. It says right now there's 38 watts going into this battery. Oh, look at here, my brother's got a cat and I hit his place right now. Look at this guy, isn't this a cute cat? I'm not a huge cat person. I mean, they're okay, but this one is very cool looking. This is one of the prettiest cats I've seen in a long time. I know Bert's got a lot of nice cats, but this guy, girl, that's a good looking cat. Look at that. Okay, get out of here. So, <laughs> we're charging the battery. We'll see how long it takes. I just plugged it in, so I'll time it. I'm thinking probably within an hour it should be charged, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, this is a 16 inch. I just looked at the scabbard on here. It's a 16 incher. Uh, I just gotta put in some bar oil into this thing, which I will do. And then we're gonna do some cutting with it. So, it's gonna happen in just a little bit. So we'll let her charge up and then we'll do some cutting with it. We'll check it out. So here's the box it came in. Wild Badger, I forgot the wild part. Wild Badger Power. It's got a three year residential, not commercial. And like I said, it's got a brushless motor, 40 volt battery, lightweight, 11 pounds. See, I said about 10, 11 pounds is what it weighs. There it is, so that's the box it came in. Like I said, it's got the charger and you get the battery. And I'll put the price on it, because I haven't looked it up, so I don't know what the price is, but I'll look it up, uh, see what the price of it is. But yeah, for a homeowner, it's all you'd need. If you're just gonna trim a few branches, you probably, I don't think if you're heating with wood, you'd want something this small, but if you're cutting just a couple face cords a year of small, you know, limb wood and stuff like that that you're burning in your fireplace, and you're, you're cutting stuff that's uh, smaller, would probably work just fine. Okay, so I got the Badger, and it's a, the model number is CSB40U. It's a uh, 40 volt. The battery just slides right in. Battery is probably just as heavy as the saw. The saw weighs almost nothing. So all together you might have 10 pounds here, if that. Probably not even. It's really nice and light. Um, it's got a brake on it, so that works really easily. It's got an oil fill right here, and then you've got there's a sight window. You can see where the oil is. You can check, see your uh, level. Uh, it is not a safety chain. It's the nice kind of chain. Um, so it just has a little bit of raker up front there. Um, 16 inch bar, we're gonna see how it does. Um, it's got a safety release here, you got a hole and then there's another one here. So basically you push the side button, give it a squeeze. What did I do wrong? Brake on. The brake was on so it won't even run. Look at that. That's kind of cool. It's actually good. When the brake is on, it won't run. Interesting. I'm gonna test the brake. It stops instantly. Very nice. So yeah, we'll give her a try here. I'm gonna got a little uh, dead oak tree here we're gonna cut on. So I'm gonna give it a give it a try. 
Yeah, it's got a little delay. You squeeze the uh, start, uh, the release button and then the power. I'm gonna show you as I squeeze it here. So there's like a one second delay. It cuts really easily, so that's kind of nice. And it sounds wicked. Let's just see here. That delay is kind of weird. I'm used to instant response and it's not instant. I suppose I should limit off first. This is like wading through barbed wire, this red oak. So I gotta tell you, my first instinct on the delay it's awkward. It's real awkward because you want it to go and it's not going. So what I did on when I was living there, I just kind of kept it wide open the whole time. I'm going to try the brake again here. Yeah, it works good. It's got plenty of power. All right, we got another tree to go cut down. Let's give another one a try. So there's another little uh, red oak here that's uh, dead and leaning. Um, this red oak is super dry, so it's like some of the hardest wood there is to cut. So we're gonna cut this one up and then we're gonna try a live popple or aspen tree that's maybe about the same size, and that should cut like butter. This thing is very sharp, it cuts really good, so I'm liking that. So we're gonna crawl in here and cut this out. Got to tighten the chain up, it loosened up now. So I've cut a few times and now the, the chain is starting to loosen up. You can see here, it's starting to get a little saggy. So we're going to tighten it up and I'm going to do the right thing and remove the battery. Um, it came with a little bitty scrunch for tightening it. So we're going to do that. The only one thing that it didn't come with that would have been nice is a spare chain. There is just this one and a spare chain is nice because stuff happens. So if I look at the inside here, you can see in there it's got a, a pretty substantial little drive shaft, uh, the gear or the, uh, the sprocket in there, I guess that's what you'd call it. Um, pretty chunky. So we're going to tighten it up and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to loosen it up with the massive scrunch here. Oh, it was loose. That's why it wasn't even tight. So yeah, it's got a a nice side adjustment right there is a little bitty screw for tightening it. Don't have to go into the front, which is nice. That feels about right. I think this is probably the same size nuts on here as what's on husk varnish too. It looks like about the same size. I don't know, but anyway, it's a nice little scrunch, so that should work. All right. Um, one thing else I noticed too the. The battery's got a little vent on the bottom so that if it gets hot, it's vented here, vented there, and then there's a vent on the bottom here too, so that should do it. And I don't know, it looks like there's, yeah, there's grease. I can see uh, bar oil on there too, so it's... You can find it, out the tip when you hit it. Yeah, so there you go. All right, let's go cut this thing down. The one thing though, I gotta say, I don't really like is it's it's got a delay. I'll just have to get used to it. I'm sure it's a safety thing, but I'll get used to it. Okay, this has got a tight lean to it, so. Uh. 
That is one bendy tree. I was pushing them about as hard as I can and it kept cutting. Yeah, I can stop it. If I push really hard, I can stop it. Now one thing that's missing, there's no dogs out front. No dogs at all. So I think the drawback that's going to happen, I think there's going to be people that don't like that delay and they're just going to keep it running all the time. They're going to be moving. So that I think is a bad feature. I think it should just run when you hit the trigger. Because I have a, right now I have a tendency, I just want to keep it running when I'm moving and going to my next cut, which you shouldn't be walking with the chainsaw running wide open. So I actually think that's a bad thing, but I don't know, maybe that's just part of what you got to do. But yeah, watch, there's the push. Watch when I squeeze. It's just a little bit of a delay. Oh, Through a chain. And I had it pretty tight. I was cutting brush, which is when you throw a chain most of the time. So I'll have to put it back on. I got the wrench right here. So I took the, the cover off here. Like I said, it's just the two nuts. And uh, right here's their sprocket, and it's got two uh, posts. And I just gotta slide it back in here. And the chain catch is just a piece of plastic that looks like right here, the catch, the safety catch. So anyway, there it is, we're gonna adjust it now. All right, we're gonna drop this right through here, I think. Look at that. It's like I've done that once before. Okay, I'm gonna do some limbing first. Yeah, I'm not pushing hardly at all. It cuts good. I think that's that. Now, I take this bigger chunk, I'm gonna cut a bunch of cookies and really force it, see what I can do with it. So now I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch of cuts here. Yeah, you can stop it if you push hard.
That cuts pretty dang good. Yeah, you just can't push real hard because it's obviously not a big chainsaw. I'm used to a 70cc and a 90cc saw where you just lean on it. So you got to kind of feather a little bit. But for the average guy that has a yard and wants to trim a few trees, this is all he would need. Um, I have no idea. There's no indicator on the battery here. It shows that there's, oh, there is right here. Look at this. It's got an indicator. Let's see what we got. Oh, I've used half of it up. Ain't bad. You made quite a few cuts. Yeah, so I've used half. It's got an indicator light right there, so that's kind of neat. Oh no, three. Yep. It shows all three, so it means it's still full, unless that unless that end one lights up. Yeah, I got three out of four, so I used a, a quarter of it. But yeah, works pretty nice. A bunch of cookies there, a bunch of cuts. So the thing I would do is, if you're going to get one of these, get an extra battery because if you're going to do a lot of cutting, it does charge pretty fast, but you're going to want to have it charged. And look at that, it's 102 decibels. Is that what that means for hearing? It's gotta be. I don't know, it makes noise. You'd want probably one of your earplugs. I didn't, because it's... I don't know, you can see the oil coming out. A little bit of oil coming out. I could see it fly off the end a couple times there when I was cutting. Nice and light, works pretty good. Here we go, there it is. The Badger Power 40 volt CSB40U, there it is. Nice and light, you can hang on a little bitty twig, even that size, and uh, nice. 11 pounds, I don't know how many ounces. There it is, worked good. Didn't even use a quarter of the battery with all the cutting I did there, and I cut a lot of stuff you guys didn't see just trying it out cutting brush, so I cut probably twice as much as you saw on camera. I didn't record everything because I was just trying to get used to it and figure out how it worked before I showed you and then trying it a little bit. My brother did a little bit of cutting so Badger Power. There she is. That's all for today folks. Poke the buttons. I'll be back tomorrow with some more toys. Come on back. 5.30 a.m. right now. Go watch some more videos. Good night Irene.